then I would back off on that amount of dosage just because you can sometimes pull these chemicals and metals out of the body too fast, and that could cause a headache. It could cause some fatigue. It could cause some muscle Swollen soreness, lymph nodes. Swollen lymph nodes. And, you know, you got to give your body time to uh, detoxify, and that's what, like what you said, sweating. Sweating is a natural detoxification pathway. Respirating. So if you can even join a club, even if you're not a big exerciser, and get in the steam room for 20 minutes a couple times a week. Right. Guys have four ways to eliminate toxins and chemicals from their body. You sweat them out. You breathe them out when you're doing heavy activity and you're actually respirating. You urinate them out and you defecate them out. And that's it. That's the only way you're going to be able to get rid of these toxins. Women have the body. menstrual cycle too. And women have their menstrual cycle. So women actually have five ways. So really what you want to do is you want to open up all your elimination routes and start eliminating the sources of the chemicals that are coming into your body. And with the assistance of like the oxy powder in cleansing and neutralizing the toxins in the intestines, the deep cleanse, which is going to go into the lymphatic system, the blood system, the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, it's, it's, it really is a deep cleanse that's going to happen. And with the components in there, not only are you going to be providing the body with essential minerals and nutrients, but you're also going to be extracting and bonding some of those harmful substances and getting them out of the system. And we know now that some of these chemicals can be stored for 20, 30, 40 years. We've had people that have done the liver shield and the liver cleansing program and taken their stones into a chem, had a friend at a college at a university and taken them in and they were analyzed and they even found like four or five pieces of gum in there that came out from 20, 30 years ago. So we know that the body actually holds, especially gum sometimes, deep in the tissues. I don't know if those were stored deep in the intestines or if those actually really did come out of the liver, probably the intestines. But we do know now that you do, it does take time. And sure, a liver cleanse is just absolutely spectacular what it does. We're going to be talking about that again soon. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hi, I'm Shane Steiner. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermale Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermale Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body. Uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was going to lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. It's real. Super Male Vitality. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Samuel Cohen, the inventor of the neutron bomb, once said, The question I ask of myself was something like, If we're going to go on fighting these damned fool wars in the future, shelling and bombing cities to smithereens and wrecking the lives of their surviving inhabitants, might there be some kind of nuclear weapon that could avoid all this? Cohen went on to invent a hydrogen bomb without the uranium-238. Real early on, I began to see radiation nuclear radiation as an effective means of waging ground warfare in a relatively moral way because the neutron bomb is the most discriminate weapon ever devised. There's a very sharp cutoff between the radius out to which the enemy will be killed and where the friendly troops are positioned. The neutron bomb would essentially increase the radiation output to as high as 80% without the massive destructive blast. The relatively small kill zone would spread into enemy troops, liquefying their living tissue with the emitted massive dose of neutrons. In 1975, the Ford administration under the guidance of Secretary of Defense James Schlesinger proceeded to build the neutron bomb. Protests in an arms race soon followed. Anti-nuke President Jimmy Carter dropped the program, but President Ronald Reagan eagerly supported it, saying, Very simply, it is the dreamed-of death ray weapon of science fiction. It kills enemy soldiers, but doesn't blow up the surrounding countryside or destroy villages, towns, and cities. Here is a deterrent weapon available to us at a much lower cost than trying to match the enemy gun for gun, tank for tank, plane for plane. However, Support for the neutron bomb had changed by the time Reagan took office, and military leaders were skeptical of its use on the battlefield and the potential it had to affect civilians. Plus, the bomb had only reached a small percentage of its intended neutron radiation output. The bombs were then dismantled by the Bush administration. Or were they? Back in 2012, UK ex-Defense Secretary Lord Gilbert suggested dropping a neutron bomb on the border of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Up in the mountains, the borders between Afghanistan and Pakistan, there's nobody living there except a few goats and a handful of people handling them. If you told them that there were going to be some uh, ERRB warheads dropped there, a very unpleasant place to go, they wouldn't go there. Now, as President Obama desperately gathers support for his one-sided deal with Iran, the Saudis are waging a full-scale campaign of genocide against the people of Yemen. Among the banned U.S.-supplied cluster bombs used by Saudi airstrikes, 
There is now unconfirmed evidence of a neutron bomb in play. Who is supplying these bombs remains to be seen. It could be the US, France, Israel, or China, which have all detonated at least one neutron bomb. The bottom line is, Obama's pending deal with Iran will only heat up the arms race in the already volatile Middle East. John Bound for Infowars.com. If you want to preserve your power indefinitely, you have to get the consent of the ruled. And this they will do, partly by drugs, as I foresaw in, uh, in Brave New World, partly by these uh, new techniques of, uh, uh, of propaganda. Uh, they will do it by bypassing the sort of rational side of man and appealing to his uh, subconscious and his uh, deeper emotions and uh, his physiology even. And so making him actually love his slavery. I mean, I think this is the danger, that actually people may be, in some ways, happy under the new uh, regime, but they will be happy in situations where they oughtn't to be happy. This is the big picture, an official television report to the nation from the United States Army. Yes, in modern warfare, our military leaders are finding that words and ideas are highly effective weapons. Here, recruits with specialized backgrounds were taught the nature, methods, and techniques of propaganda and its dissemination. Radio presents these facts in any number of ways. Perhaps its most rewarding form of expression is news. For news is ready-made propaganda. And to an enemy, denied access to outside information, it's as welcome as food and water. Radio's principal advantage is that it can reach remote areas and reach them quickly. So that one program can be repeated and thereby reach a larger audience, it is often recorded on discs or on tape. The same show can be rebroadcast at convenient times in different areas. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. You should reject these voices. Public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific, technological elite. My team and my specialties, information operations and, and, and the psychological uh, arm of things, we are trained to deceive if we have to. If it, you found out that your public affairs team that was showing you around actually had uh, just had completed a 40-hour course in psychological operations and was trained in psyops and in military deception, you start to question, hey, is that an appropriate use of that resource? You shouldn't trust me. In fact, by my actually participating in that, I will taint the news. They took the babies out of the incubators. took the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. And they had kids in incubators, and they were thrown out of the incubators so that Kuwait could be systematically dismantled. Go read a book by the father of modern advertising, Edward Bernays, where he calls you a dumb slave and admits they run your whole life. I've read both his major books. One of them is called Propaganda. Edward Bernays. Psychological warfare operations went into high gear. Our propaganda was beginning to pay off. There's a global crime syndicate that controls NATO and the major Western governments, and it is using Al-Qaeda to overthrow secular governments. I also can't see sending my son to fight with Islamic rebels against Christians. I also can't see my son going to fight with Al on the same side as Al-Qaeda. The people we are fighting today, we funded 20 years ago. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just Pancakes. Well, pancaking almost like a precision enclosure. Everybody get away from the tower. You got to know the tower. They just came down 1013. Where exactly are you, King? Okay? Oh, 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 oh. Millions of people are sick and tired of the endless wars, the poverty that is coming, the attacks of our civil liberties. I don't believe in conspiracy theories. Conspiracies, yes. If I believe it, there's nothing theory about it. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, 
You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Meantime, there are questions multiplying today about the mysterious death of award-winning journalist Michael Hastings. We are also requesting that your team of advisors include a senior officer who is thoroughly experienced in uh, psychological operations. Psychological warfare.